Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brandy, and holy crap, Twitch has been on some shit this past weekend. So I figured, let's make a video about it and kind of discuss going forward what's going on. I kind of talked about a couple of things Twitch has been doing recently in terms of, like, Twitch policies, the stuff with the hot tub streamers, and just people pushing... They're pushing it. Let's just go with that. So if you didn't see, over the weekend we had a couple of big name slash big name people in the ASMR category that were banned on Twitch. So from what I saw, Amaranth was banned, Indie Fox was banned, which was two notable ones, and then a couple of other girls who I'm not familiar with or I wasn't familiar with until this weekend when I saw this, but they were also banned on Twitch. And as of right now, I saw that they were banned about two days ago. And we have Amaranth, who is still banned and has been banned four separate times. That's, you know, notable. And then we also have, here we have Indie Fox, who is also banned. Let's just say this. She's been banned five times within the, the same year. So that is notable. Another person I saw get banned, Exo Hydra. Not familiar with her, but she's been banned three times in the past, you know, year or so. Another person in the ASMR category, same thing with this, it's Pinky Girl. I believe she was in the ASMR category when I was looking and researching stuff. However, as of making this video, which is two days after this ban, it seems that out of all of those individuals I just mentioned, it's Pinky got her account back, but all of the other individuals that we mentioned here are still banned. The reason I bring that up and the reason I show you that is because it's very interesting. First off, the research I did, all of these people, all of the bands came at about the same time. And they came out because they were in relation to people doing ASMR content that could come off as highly sexual. The common denominator that I was finding between all of these people was that they were doing ASMR where it involved like licking the, I don't know ASMR terms, but it involved like licking either the mic thing or there was like one girl had like an ear attachment that she was licking and making those noises. So. I think Twitch pretty much was like locking down on all of those individuals that make that similar content and was handing out bans. The thing that is noticeable is people like Amaranth and Indie Vox and such, those big name people are still banned even a few days later. So that is what then raises the question of are these individuals going to remain banned? They have been banned multiple times and Twitch has normally unbanned them within about three days. We are on day two right now after their bans. So tomorrow, seeing if they're still banned or not is going to, I think, say a lot on behalf of Twitch. I cannot blame these uh, women or uh, any men that do this category. I, I'm not familiar with people within that realm, but it seems like it's more uh, female dominated section. But I cannot put any blame on those individuals. Twitch gave them a platform. Twitch gave them a space to do this type of content. And clearly it's content that people are consuming or they wouldn't do as well as they are. So I'm not one to judge anybody for the type of content they want to make on Twitch as long as Twitch allows it, which they are. Twitch gave them a platform to do this. And now Twitch is taking that away from them. Now, I understand Twitch is acting in this way because this is seen as over-sexual and a lot of the time these girls were just like laying on their beds with their butts to the cameras and they're, they're appealing to a particular audience and I get that. But Twitch might not be the platform for that type of content. I'm never going to judge anybody for how they make their money, how they work, how they do their job. You do you but make sure you are doing it on the appropriate platform. There is a fine line between what Twitch allows or what we believe Twitch should allow and what is too sexual, okay? I know a lot of people like to argue, oh, there's kids on Twitch, I can't monitor what my kid is watching all the time. They could hear this or see this. 
first off, you have to be at least 13 to be on Twitch. Reminder there. So everyone who's like, oh, it's like five and five to 10 year olds. No, you have to be at least 13 legally. Secondly, it should not be the streamer's job to monitor what your kids are watching. Like your kid could easily stumble onto like, you know, this site. And is that on that site to monitor it? No, that's on you as the parent. So I can't blame those people that are like, oh, it's these streamers fault. I, I can't blame them there. However, the whole premise of everything that we're talking about here is falling back on Twitch. What is Twitch going to do moving forward? Is Twitch going to keep these bans on these creators and prove a point that this is content that's not appropriate? Or are they going to unban them for the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, however many times they decide to unban them? Because if you continue to give content creators their accounts back after you ban them, you're basically telling that creator the content you're making is okay, just like limited a little bit. You're not telling them, no, don't do that on this platform. I want to see going forward if these accounts continue to be banned or if they get the account back because that's going to really decide what happens going forward. It's the, twi the ball is in Twitch's court now to actually set a precedent of what is the fine line that cannot be crossed because I feel like right now they're not making it very apparent, especially with, if you didn't catch it, did a video on the hot tub streamers. I'll put it up there. They did the same thing with that topic where they made a category for hot tub streamers. They opened the platform for that type of content, yet they're still dishing out little bans and demonetizations here and there for content creators in that category. So Twitch, I feel like is driven by, oh, this is a new upcoming thing that can make us money. But at the same time, is this the content we want? And they're kind of teeter-tottering between what rules they want to enforce for which people. And they need to be more on top of if this applies to one person, it's got to apply to everybody. And that's that's how I stand by it. And I can't I can't necessarily fault the streamers because Twitch is giving them a platform and it's allowing them to grow on said platform doing this type of content. So I, I can't fault them for making money. Do it. That's, you know, that's on you. But I just wanted to put this out there. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Do you think Twitch is going to unban these particular individuals or the other? There was a, a whole slew of people that got banned in that category. I just named a couple. Do you think that Twitch will give them back their accounts in three days, a week maybe? I'm Clearly the one day bans have not, you know, only one was lifted of notable like names. So um, I'm curious to see going forward. I'll probably make a follow up to this in maybe a couple days to a week and we can talk on it there to see if Twitch did make any changes. But I'm I'm interested to see how this goes going forward because I do have some friends in the ASMR category. I do have friends that do the hot tub streams. I do have friends that do a combination of both. I don't know if Twitch is going to drastically change these categories going forward because people might be abusing particular elements of it. Um, I'm not sure, but... Give me your opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll discuss it further in the next video. But until then, peace out and fair winds, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.